so, 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 so. And so was power, 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 power Monday. What? Power, 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 power Monday. It's power, 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 power Monday. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling kind of good today. Uh, Monday is a day we work it on now, but it's a day that a lot of people don't like to speak about. They don't want to get out they bed. They don't want to hear nothing nobody has to say. They said, I said what I said. Yeah, you hear a lot of that and people be mad at that. But Today is the day that the power of the kings and the queens get crowned like a shower. It's going to be all right. I declare I'm going to do this with y'all. And I'm going to share. I got a lot to give. I got a lot to give away. And let's get this thing done. Put it in play. How y'all feeling today? Power Monday all up in your area. The Daily go get Ism show. And we are talking about the backlash of celebrating what you want to celebrate. We we going to talk about celebrating what you want to celebrate. Black people be celebrating holidays. Black people be celebrating holidays that don't necessarily go along with their culture. Black people be celebrating holidays that don't necessarily go along with their religion. All people celebrate things that a lot of people don't think should be celebrated. So the question that I have for y'all tonight is, does the backlash or does the, um, yeah, well, the backlash, does the backlash that you may receive for celebrating what you think is important or that you want to celebrate, does that get in the way of you celebrating or does it get in the way of you being able to have fun? You know what I mean? Does it stop you? Does it stop you from putting up decorations, spending a little money, sending out invitations, you know, um, exercising or um, participating in a ritual, things like that? Celebrating now, now, all right, we just we just had a holiday last Monday, which was Memorial Day. Now that's probably a safe holiday for all of us to celebrate because we are celebrating the uh, memory of the fallen sur- soldiers that have that have fallen in in war that have perished in american wars so you know, that's a pretty clean holiday it probably affects every family in the united states we probably i'm i'm sure that in all of our households we have veterans no way around that but wait a minute we say no way around that, but there may be ways around that. You know, if you are, if you grew up second, third generation of Jehovah's Witnesses, then you, you have never, you have never joined the military because it's against their religion to join the military. So they don't do that. They also do not um, um, pledge of allegiance. They don't do the pledge of allegiance. I remember when I was growing up with Jehovah Witnesses in my in my classes, I had friends who were Jehovah Witnesses, and they didn't do the pledge of allegiance. Now they would be respectful and stand up for the pledge of allegiance, but they wouldn't say it. It was against their religion to actually say it. And um, so if you're not able to do, to do the pledge of allegiance, um, it can seem like you're anti patriotic to a lot of people. And also not joining the military as a religious rule that may seem anti-patriotic too to a lot of people. So Memorial Day may not affect you because of your religion. Speaking of religion, you know, for our people, we come under a lot of fire for, for, for the religious holidays that some of us may participate in or celebrate. Christmas is a big one. You know, we always got to hear a lot of a lot of stuff about our participation in the way that we celebrate Christmas. And well, you know, you shouldn't be celebrating no Christmas. You shouldn't be spending your money. You shouldn't be celebrating the birth, the so-called birth of Jesus and all of this kind of stuff. You know, going out there and putting yourself in debt and all of that kind of stuff. You know, what we have, we we have Kwanzaa. Why don't you celebrate Kwanzaa? And then a lot of people, a lot of black people, you know, look at Kwanzaa like. Oh, that's an African holiday. And what is that? What what have Africans ever did, done for us? It makes more sense that we celebrate Christmas than Kwanzaa. Hey, 
opinions are like assholes. You know, everybody has one. And um, and I'm not exempt. You're not exempt. Nobody's exempt. But does this have an impact on whether you celebrate these things? Because, you know, when you celebrate things, normally you're celebrating because it's a happy event. Or it's ritualistic. It's something that you think should be acknowledged. There's there's cause for for uh for gathering, congregating. I don't know, food, drinks, presents, um, education, whatever the case may be. And you have the the American right to celebrate any holiday that you want to celebrate, or celebrate any event, or or um. Or um, not event. That's not the word I'm looking for. Any happening or um, celebrating any day or whatever. Whatever you know, you know what I mean. I'm sure you do. Uh, you have the right to celebrate what you want to celebrate. But there will probably be some people who will come along and tell you that you should not be celebrating some things that you probably celebrate. So what does it mean to you? In the grand scheme of things, it probably doesn't mean a whole lot to you. You probably say, listen, I'm going to celebrate what I want to celebrate. Preschool graduations. Um, At work, at jobs that I've had, we've had some issues with preschool graduations, kindergarten graduations, and things like that. People taking off, saying that, well, my my baby, my baby graduates from kindergarten tomorrow, so I have to take off because I want to be there. On a personal note, I'm thinking like, I understand. These are milestones. These are milestones. These, these, this may be a big thing to you. One thing is for sure, it only comes around once in a lifetime. And you might be the type of person that records, records and um, celebrates every, every event that happens in your children's or your family's or your loved one's lives. And I, I ain't mad at that. On a professional level, I'm like, If you're going to take off tomorrow when we need you here, I probably have to take a look at your attendance record because that may not jive well with your decision to take off tomorrow. You know, maybe it would be better for you to come to work and leave early. Maybe, maybe, you know, some some bosses may say, but no, that's not a valid. Hey, I said I chew. I said I choose you. I choose you. I did. I did go get my allergy medicine on uh, yesterday. I went to go get the allergy medicine on, on yesterday. I didn't go get it on Tuesday. But I got it. I got it. And I'm, I'm a better person for it. Was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. It was yesterday. It was yesterday. All right. Um, bless you too, Carol Chamberlain. Bless you all. But yeah, you know, on a professional level, I might have to take a, a look at your attendance record. And other bosses may say, well, that's not a valid reason. Hold on, y'all. Hold on.
Good looking, good looking out, Jay. Okay. Okay. You know what time? Okay. That's cool. My bad job, my bad, my bad. I had a little bit of business. Had a little bit I had to take care of. Yeah, I knew I knew it was gonna happen as soon as I as soon as I started this shit. I said, but it's all good. It's all good. It's all love, baby. It's all love, baby. How y'all feeling? All right. So I said so. Excuse me. All right. So yeah. Um, we were talking about like kindergarten graduation elementary school graduations, eighth grade graduations. A lot of times these graduations uh, are frowned upon by, by people, especially especially educators. A lot of educators be like, yo, man, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like for our people, our people, we come under a lot of fire for the lot of things that we celebrate. You know, um, now on a positive note, uh, some of us feel like we should celebrate each and every holiday that comes across each and every holiday that we are able to participate. I'm sorry, graduation. Each and every graduation that we are able to participate in, we should celebrate each step because our our idea is that psychologically, when you do when you start from preschool, uh, um, kindergarten to, uh, to to elementary school to middle school to high school. We should always be looking towards the next graduation, all the way up to the doctorate, if, if, if possible. So we shouldn't look down on on those who celebrate the eighth grade graduation. But you know, we don't just celebrate the person and or, or the student that that graduates. We go out and we start spending money. <clears throat> we start cooking. We start serving drinks. We start we start putting up decorations and stuff like that. And some people. People, you know, you know, feel some kind of way about that for, for the eighth grade graduation. I see both sides of the story. I see both. I, I can see it from both sides. I can see why some people would say, well, look, it's the eighth grade graduation. You know, they, they just going into high school. We want to make sure that we don't shoot our whole load here because sometimes, sometimes if you, if you live in a family where there's a generational curse of, of, of um, high school um dropping out you you might want to save you might want to save hold your applause until until the high school graduation but then again on the other side they may say well listen sometimes the eighth grade graduation is all we get so you know hopefully hopefully you know we get them all the way through high school and but but we we're going to celebrate each step of the way i ain't mad at it either way but uh, the amount of money that we spend, same thing with same thing with prom send off parties. You know, all of us have seen prom send off parties in the last couple of months. Now, you know, um, in the uh, last year, the year before, and all of that, we weren't having prom send off parties in two in 2022. I think they came back, but in 2020, 2021, uh, prom send offs proms themselves were very limited we weren't having those things so and, and graduations as well so just being able to have our children back in classrooms um masks off now and things like that recovering from the pandemic shoot it's a wonder we haven't celebrated that and it's probably because we don't consider ourselves to be out of the fire. And it could also be because we have lost so much. But, uh, hey, listen, a celebration is a celebration. And, and a party is a party. And, you know, from the point of view of the person that's celebrating, they look, they want to celebrate what they want to celebrate. And they have the right to do that. So having the right to do something and having freedom to do it, uh, it doesn't always feel the same way. Because you may feel like your people, the people that you know, are holding you back from being able to have a good time. So that's what we're talking about tonight on the Daily Go Get a Daily Go Get a Daily Go Get a Daily 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 Go Get a 
Daily Go Get a Mism Show. How y'all feeling, baby? Matter of fact, let's get it popping. Urban Therapy with Sun Sun 752 with this your daily, daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily, the daily go get a mism show. We do this every single day, every single day, every day, every day it rains, every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. We break it down, baby, every day it rains, and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains and the DG will do the same. Every day it rains and the DG will do the same. I am your host, Sun752, a.k.a. Omar with the... And if you can't say Omar with the... Well, then you just say Omar with... Omar with the R... This is the Daily Go Get a Business Show. Power Monday all up in your area. I'm feeling like a real man should. And I hope y'all feeling like real men and women should. I'm ready to celebrate that. I'm, I'm ready to celebrate feeling like a real man should. Celebrate y'all feeling like real men and women. Like y'all should. And we're talking about the backlash of celebrating what you want to celebrate. Peer, it's like it's, it's sort of like peer pressure as an adult. Like, oh, well, I don't know if we should be celebrating this, that, and the third. When such and such didn't do things for us. You know, St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo, these aren't holidays that we celebrated traditionally. Not when I was growing up. I didn't know any black people that drank extra and partied and wore beads and stuff like that, um, you know, for, for, for St. Patrick's Day or, or Cinco de Mayo. I didn't know anybody that celebrated Cinco de Mayo, period. Period. Shoot, and we didn't have any Mexicans in our neighborhood. We didn't have Mexicans in Philly. I mean, we had a couple sprinkled here and there. But, you know, Puerto Ricans, yeah. Puerto Ricans and Dominicans started to come in, but we didn't have no Mexicans. Mexicans would, well, um, they, they migrated mostly on the West Coast. You know, California, Arizona, New Mexico, uh, um, Nevada, places like that. There weren't a whole lot of Mexicans on the East Coast. Not even in Florida. We, we, you know, Texas, New New Orleans, places like near near places where the border was, but not not over here on the northeast. You know, the eastern seaboard where all the people are. So we didn't we didn't celebrate the holidays, and we weren't really familiar with their culture. Nor nor were we compelled to celebrate anything from their culture. Because one thing we have known about Mexicans is that they have known to be pretty prejudiced and discriminatory and a little bit racist against black people. Now, you may say, well, they aren't they don't have what it takes to be racist against us. But um, being a racist and practicing racist policies or practicing racism against somebody, you can do that at any race. You can practice racism. You may not actually be able to be a racist, but you can do what they do, like in the form of, of white supremacy. So you may feel like you have Mexican supremacy. But the, my point is, my point is, you know, um, do, do, do you feel some kind of way, or should we feel some kind of way when our people our black people are celebrating Cinco de Mayo or call themselves practicing or call themselves celebrating Cinco de Mayo. You know, should we feel some kind of way about that? You have the right to feel some kind of way about it, just like they have the right to celebrate it in whatever way that they want to celebrate it. It is their right. But do they have, do they feel like they have the freedom to exercise their rights? Well, on a personal level, on a on a on a social level, we might have something to say about a whole lot of things that people do that we may not approve of. But let me hear from y'all tonight. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? Ansel Jones says, "How do y'all celebrate Black History Month?" Well, we have a lot of different ways that people celebrate Black History Month. One thing is for sure: all Black people should celebrate Black History Month. There's no doubt about that. There's no reason to. I mean, there's no reason not to. There's not any reason not to. 
But I have heard black people speak out against Black History Month. Like, well, you know, why should a whole month be celebrate? I mean, should be why should a whole month be dedicated to black history? Black history is just American history. So if we celebrate black history, I've actually heard people say this, this, this craziness. You know, um, um, if you have a whole black history month, then you should have a white history month too. I'm like, well, we do. It's called the other um 12 months of the year. Yeah, the whole 12 months of the year, including Black History Month, is, is White History Month. But then you know, you start opening up a whole can of worms about that argument. And I, I'd rather not go and in, go into it right now, but this is the kind of stuff you run into when you're celebrating what you want to celebrate or having something to say about what somebody else is celebrating. All right. <clears throat> Um, 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 Carol says, yeah, then you're only down half a person and not a whole person. Um, TK right says, I like to celebrate every graduation so that my kids get used to being proud of, of that achievement. And I've heard that argument and I agree with that argument. I do. I agree with that sentiment. Now, how much money do you run out and spend for these celebrations? Because that seems to be what celebrates, I'm what separates people who celebrate, you know, does that celebration just consist of maybe some balloons, maybe a banner, maybe um inviting some people over, throwing something on the grill, or taking taking your taking your your graduate out to dinner, you know. Hey, hey, throw on some throw on a little suit. You know what I mean? You know, cap and gown if y'all had it. We 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 going we going to go out and we going you know we going to have some dinner and a little cake with a little candle and you going hey we going to celebrate you. Good job, good job, graduate. How can you hate on that? Well, people do. People do hate on it. It's sort of like that argument when you know how they say. Well, you shouldn't, you know, people want to be, people want to be praised for doing what they supposed to do. Who's to say what people are supposed to do? So, you know, it's the same thing like when black men want to be acknowledged for being in their, in their children's lives, for being, for being attentive, for making sure that they, that they made their payments on time, for for being responsible um, 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 fathers. And you know, people come along and say, well, you want, you want to be praised for doing what you're supposed to do? That's what a father's supposed to do. Oh, yeah? If that's what a father's supposed to do, well, that I, I, I'd like to see more evidence of it because I was there nonstop. That's what a lot of black fathers would say. I've been there nonstop, and I sure have seen uh, a lot of um, fathers stop. My All of my friends, all of my... My 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 children's uh, friends, cousins, um, um, even their other brothers and sisters, they wasn't there. They didn't have a father. I I never bailed out, and I helped take take care of everybody else. So yeah, I think I should. I think I, I should be acknowledged because what I'm supposed to do, I did what I was supposed to do in the absence of everybody else, all of my peers not doing what they were supposed to do. So yeah, I think I think I think when you when y'all start spreading the ball around about what we're not doing as black men and as black fathers, y'all want to include me in that shit, but you want to exclude me in in the in the in the praise and the celebrations. Sort of like that. Sort of like that. Uh do, 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 do. Carol's um co-sign Taki says exactly every graduation is a milestone for our children. And so Jones says, be happy. They put in the effort to complete every milestone in education. And as parents, you should be, you, you should be celebrating yourself because you're getting them through. There are a lot of parents that ain't doing that. that I've known parents, and I'm sure that y'all have known parents too. They didn't make their kids go to school. If um if y'all um went to school 
and experienced anything like I've experienced. I used to have friends that that were that were absent for, from school for weeks at a time, weeks at a time. And then they would come back to school and we'd be like, well, yo, where you been? Where have you been sick? No, I wasn't sick, but you know, my mom works at a certain time, so I have to take care of my brothers. Yo, I've what? What? Parents, parents, um, making their children stay home from school so they can help raise the other children that they had have that they're raising improperly because they have to go make a living. Every parent has to make a living, but the bottom line is every parent does not celebrate or participate in celebrations of their children's educational journey and success. Some of them hinder it, stifle it, get in the way of it. Some of them are totally to blame for the lack of it. Y'all got me started now. I'm, I'm, it's hard to get down the list. All right, um, Stacey White says, I love celebrating my little cousin graduation from college. Got the job she, she majored in. Yes, black students <clears throat> graduating college is still a big deal. I don't care what nobody got to say about how, uh, the student loans and how college is a scam. and I, It's a big deal. Education, knowledge. Being able, you know what an asset you are to your community when you have graduated college. I don't give a fuck what nobody say about that. You are an asset because you have learned things and you have followed a process that so many have circumvented or did not complete. So you know some things that other people just don't know. Even if they learn it later on, you got it now. They got next, you got now. And so now you can give that 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 knowledge and experience to somebody else. The benefit of your knowledge, wisdom and experience. You got it. With one degree, you got it. Because you know, when it comes to college, you know, you got a whole lot of us saying, I don't know what you're doing that for. All that matters is the money. If you if you went to college and you can't pay your student loans or, or you're not making a six-figure salary, you should. I've heard people say this. I've heard people say this. If you're not making a six-figure salary and you and you graduated college, you wasted your money. I'm like, mm, this seems like the, a problem. And that's getting in the way of celebrating your success. That's getting in the way. It's an hindrance. The backlash. I mean, damn. Shoot. So you mean to tell me that we, we have parties, cookouts, and celebrations and presents for people who come home from jail? Talking about they just made it back home from the belly of the beast. They just came back from hell. You mean to tell me we can celebrate them? Maybe even celebrate them probably entering back into the criminal justice system? But we can't celebrate somebody who did the right thing? Who followed the rules? Somebody who we can actually have our children look up to and follow as an example? Well, yeah, we might be a little twisted, but it all goes into what we're talking about, the backlash of celebrating what you want to celebrate. The same way I'm saying, oh, oh, you can celebrate man, man coming home from doing a 10 year stretch. For catching a body about not drugs, not theft, not not um, a, 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 um of evasion, a ta tax evasion or something like that. A body. Somebody is gone. Somebody is not on this earth anymore because of man, man. All right. I. Mm. All right. But the same way I can look at that, like, yo, you go, so you going to celebrate man, man. You know what I mean? He killed somebody. Oh, you now you judging. You want to judge. Oh, college boy. You want to judge because just because your parents had 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 the means to send you to college. What if I don't make six figures? 
Didn't my parents mess me up? All right. Anyway. Anyway, uh <laughs> Carol says, Omar, I'm celebrating every day I get. I'm just saying. Well, I, I, I applaud you and I celebrate you celebrating you. I celebrate you celebrating yourself. What's going on, Barbara Hill C. Say? Bobby C. Say is all up in the house. Good to see me some you. My brother Ansel Jones, Stacy White, T. Carrie Wright. Thanks for coming through. T. Carrie Wright says, seriously, most East Coasters didn't even know about Cinco de Mayo until, until Dora the Explorer. Mm. I'm going to sip to that. And what would make them celebrate Cinco de Mayo because of Dora the Explorer? That's what I can't understand. What her brown Asian anime looking at? I ain't mad at Dora or her abuela. A grandmother is an abuela. Backpack, 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 back. Shut the Dora. You and your and your other Mexican boy. What's his name? Hugo de Mayo. What's his name? He ain't as popular as Dora. All right, uh, TK Wright says, seriously, okay, I'm sorry. And TK Wright says, the more Mexicans that migrated here, the more Americans started using that day as a day to drink. Cinco de Mayo, St. Patrick's Day. I ain't never seen so many niggas wearing green as I've seen in the last five years. I'm like, man, y'all wild then. Irish people do not like black people. Now, now, now people going to start coming along and be like, oh, but my grandmother Irish. I give my grandmother book of grant, grant. My grandmother, I have a good grant. Grandmother. I never said that they wouldn't have sex with them. I said they don't like them. And anybody who has ever gone to Ireland knows that it ain't nothing in Ireland, but they don't have no big black population in Ireland. Ireland is not England. Dublin is not London. It's not culturally diverse like that. And you know, the Irish don't like nobody except themselves. Them and Mary. I don't even know if they like Jesus like that, but they love some Mary. Very Catholic. Very Catholic. Um. And so says, I didn't know anything about Castro until I went back and looked at the movie Scarface. People, people have to want to educate themselves. Yeah, man. I listen. I I loved some Fidel Castro, and I really loved some Hugo Chavez. I like leaders who are down for their people, uncompromising. Sure. They're not going to, all of their decisions and their policies aren't going to be popular. Sometimes they're going to seem oppressive. Do you always, do you always, do you feel non-oppressed in this country? Because if you're a black person or even a white person, you know, like, nah, you don't get to do everything you want to do here. And th there definitely aren't policies that everyone agrees with here. That's why we have the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. And even though they believe in a lot of the same things behind the scenes. What they what they what they display and and what they what they um run on the policies that they run on to get elected is different, and some people feel like they are op oppressive. That's how some people feel, and I can understand how some of them feel that way. When you think of freedom, you think about being able to do whatever you want to do without backlash, without reproach. Without somebody all being all up in your business, being a Debbie Downer and 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 uh and ruining your celebration, crashing your party. That's what you think about, and that's what we talking about. Well, we talking about y'all good, y'all with me? All right, let's go. Let's keep going. Um, 
do 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 and just be happy that others can find happiness. However, however they see fit. I'm not taking part, but won't frown upon others if they do. I understand that. I, I respect that position. And he says, life traveling music. By the way, this is Rich B from the group. Salute. Well, good. Oh. Rich B, my man Richard Ballard. What's going on? Man, good to see you here. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm good, good. Thanks for coming on through. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Mucho, mucho. All right. T. Carry Wright says, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show I got this right. Because my my uh, my chat does different things than other people chat does. All right. Barbara says, um, Omar, meanwhile, a man tried to shame women who, who have an arts degree regardless of, of major yeah man the look the college of liberal arts gets a bad yo the college of liberal arts gets a bad rap and for those of y'all who don't know what the college what, what kind of majors are in the college of liberal arts that's art music history um things like criminal justice um even even pre law is under um liberal arts um well what's not under that is business and math and science so social um 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 social science sociology i should say that's under the the study of people the study of, of psychology is in the, in the college of liberal arts People be looking down on the College of Liberal Arts. I mean, they don't even, I don't even think that that engineers and shit even know what majors are in the College of Liberal Arts. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know that pre-law is, is, is College of Liberal Arts. They don't know that. They do not know that. But they do not care. But you would expect business majors to concentrate on anything and, and only things that, that, that um involve money okay i don't have a problem with that because the same way that um somebody who graduated from the college of liberal arts like me might say well yeah you don't understand anything that that, that doesn't make money so money makes you you don't make money you don't make enough money to, to to equal how much the money makes you so you are a puppet you are you are somebody that can be easily bought and sold you don't even see your worth outside of your outside of your money. If I if I took all your money away, you would basically be running around the streets naked. That's the way you would feel, exposed, because your worth is totally tied up. Your friendships, your children, your marriage, your family, your friends are all tied up in what you can do for others, because your whole power is wrapped up in the dollar. I could say that about you, and I would be right. I would be right. That's crazy. I would be right. Plus, people who graduate from, from science and math are supposed to be smarter than everybody else. Oh, yeah? Have them write a paragraph and then get back to me since they're so smart. Because I've seen them write a paragraph. And I've seen some of them say, well, why do I need to be able to write a paragraph? I know how to write checks. Ah, yeah. I'm just saying, well, anyway, um, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along. Moving right along. Yeah. Um, good looking out for that one, um, Barbara, because that's that should be irking me. I'll be like, ugh. Yeah, um, English majors, um, all language majors, and all that kind of stuff. They like, what kind of job are you going to get if you're a history major? How about the job of knowing where the fuck you came from? How about that? How about that? I got a job knowing who I am and what my worth is. How about that? There was a time when college used to t um, teach you how to learn, and that's all college was supposed to do. Nowadays, 
everything is a cash cow. And I can't, I, I have to blame the universities because they overcharging for everything. Uh, um, oh, did you mean, okay, all right. Um, DJ Skill says, um, man, I remember one year, one young lady paid more for the eighth grade graduation party <laughs> candy than me, the DJ. Whew. It was, it was, it was that moment. I re, I reevaluated my, my life. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> I hear that. I could dig it. Mia Cunningham. When you sleep? Y'all, y'all getting in between. Y'all getting in between. What's up? What's going on, Mia? Um, and so says getting respect for not what for not snitching and, and doing a bid. All right, that's right. The be- the birthday girl, Cheryl, the world's most precious and greatest pearl in the world, is in the house. The birthday girl's up in here. Oh, 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 yeah. DJ Skill says the boy Diego. Yeah, it's been a minute. My youngest is 17. <laughs> so is mine. <laughs> yeah, Diego. What's his, what's, what's his show called? Diego's. I don't know. I, I can't remember. I mean, he, look, he got the same voice as, as Dora. The same voice, same face. You know what I'm saying? Different backpack. All right. T. Carry Wright says, I've been to Ireland. They loved me there. Yeah, they might have loved you. Let them see a love a, a, another hundred of you. Shoot. And, and you know what? Maybe Ireland is okay when you go to Ireland, but them Irish that move here, them Irish that them Irish here, you know them top ass mother, mother, mother potato famine, sexually depraved. You know what I mean? Not necessarily sexually deprived, but you know the Irish are known for not being able to fuck. That's male and female too. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, some stereotypes are true. Sometimes they false. Maybe. You know, um. No. No. No disrespect to anybody's Irish grandmother, because you know black people love to scream out how they got an Irish grandmother. I never heard them say they had an Irish grandfather. You know, with all of the with all of the raping that they did with the slaves. But you know, it is what it is. All right, Mia says, "Love you, sure." Celebrated you early. Omar jumped on my on my back, willing, willing. Jumped on my back, willing you more happy birthdays. What are you talking about? Uh, Stacy White says, I love all holidays except for Memorial Day. Damn. You love all holidays except for Memorial Day? Well, damn. Oh, in Ireland, they kept touching your hair. Uh, mm. until, I gave, until I gave them the look. Mm, yeah, mm, mm. If they kept touching your hair, that kind of lets you know that you 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 were a uh, um a foreigner to them. Huh? Huh? A foreigner. A forder. <laughs> a forder. Mia says, I still don't know what Cinco de Mayo is. You ain't gotta know about it. I, I know it don't it, it don't exact it, it don't include you or me. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, me says my daughter just schooled me on Cinco de Mayo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> DJ Skill says, yep. I'm always on YouTube and, and, and subscribe. So you, so you, you, so you pop, popped up and I tuned in. Good looking. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Mucho, mucho. TK right says, Mia, I had to grab a few. A f- grab a few hands and gently place them and Jason and gently place them down. Hmm. I'm lost on that one. All right. Um do 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 Barbara says. I like that perspective. Oh, money rules the world for many. You listen, I don't I'm not against anybody who makes a decent wage, who takes care of their family, and who spreads the ball around.
But some people make money their God and they don't even make God their God. So if your whole entire self-esteem and, and sense of self-worth is based on your bank account and the money that you have coming in, you are easily compromised, brother and sister. You are easily compromised. Because your ability to feel like you the shit has everything to do with what you can peel off. That can get that 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 can people gonna recognize that easily. Easily. Mia says, I hate that Taki. Like you a science project. Oh, I had to uh, get a supervisor. I had to get with a supervisor at work for wanting to touch my hair. Mm. Braid my hair. Braid my hair, Mario. Okay, Ansel Jones says, I'm waiting on classes on psychology to learn about my injury and the, the effects mental and physical. I'm using that. I'm using this G, this G bill for good. Listen, anybody who collects welfare or goes into the military that doesn't take advantage of the educational opportunities that they give you and pay for, man, you must be crazy. You must be crazy. Plus, it can equal more of a check for you. DJ Seal says, by the way, I never tasted Coquito either. <laughs> okay. Mia says, um, uh, Cinco, I Cinco is Mexican's independence. Yeah. Yes, they met. Yeah, okay. But what I don't get is why folks over over here are so hype about it. Same with St. Patty's Day. I look at my coworkers like the fuck y'all y'all hype about. And St. Patty's Day ain't even no independence, John. That's you know, you start looking at what St. Patrick did and St. Valentine, you be like But this is what we're talking about. The backlash of celebrating what you want to celebrate. So a lot of people don't celebrate valentine's day and a lot of people get backlash for celebrating valentine's day halloween same thing halloween christmas all of the holidays you know what i mean holidays you know i'm sure italians and 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 um and 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 spaniards feel some kind of way about of uh, the demonization of, of columbus day and all and all white people in the united states <laughs> It is what it is. One thing about history is that you can interpret it any way you want to, but you cannot change the facts. You can't do it. We lie about the facts, but we can't change them. They are what they are. TK Wright says, Omar, their hands were in my hair, so I took their hands down from my hair. Oh, okay. Okay. I, 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 I was lost. Okay, I got you. Me says, thought I was missing something, but no, I'm not. Okay. <clears throat> Barbara says, skills coquito is Puerto Rican eggnog and it's really good, coconut based. Yeah, I don't drink because I wouldn't know nothing about that. I've never drank in my life. Um, the three DUIs that I got was from the driver. I was a drunk passenger. God was my jesus was driving you know how they say jesus take the wheel well i actually made that happen jesus took the wheel and next thing you know here i am those cops were racist the black ones too anyway anyway uh <laughs> um <laughs> Um, <laughs> ZJ Skill says, Mia, um, holiday, um, holiday, do you feel you, wait, 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 I'm reading wrong. Maybe missing some drink specials somewhere. <laughs> Look, our people going to go anywhere where there's some 
where there's an opportunity to drink and eat, eat and drink, eat and drink, 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 eat, 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 drink, eat, 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 light up, smoke, 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 smoke. So DJ Skills asks, so which holiday do you feel we've we're we're more split on? I would say Christmas. You would say Christmas. I would say um Christmas is probably the biggest one because uh, our people have so many different religions that we celebrate. You know, we might be Christian and we might be different kinds of Christians. Like we might be Jehovah's Witnesses and we might be Seventh Day of Venice. We might be straight, straight um, um, Mormons. You know, um, we we might be um, Catholic. Or, or Baptist, you know, remember back in the days, Baptist, you know, you know, holiness Pentecostal and all of that, they used to be strict back in the day. They really loosened up, like being able to drink and fornicate and you know, all that kind of stuff. They weren't able to do that back in back when our parents were were coming up. They were they were real strict when it came to that. And it's hard to believe that black people ever had any real restrictions on each other. I mean, especially coming out of coming up out of slavery. But you know, hey, that's what they tell us. So we're gonna go with that. Um, and Carol talking about some shut up, Omar. Man, what I'm what am I shutting up for now? You know what I mean, that's so rude just to tell people to shut up for nothing. Here I am, you're just doing a job. You know what I'm saying? I gotta be, I gotta be shutting up. I don't care. I don't care. I'm I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Like she be telling me to shut up, and I'll be shutting up. But when she leave, I'll be talking again. I don't care. I don't, I don't even care. Do, 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 do. Mia says, oh, that's it. Drink specials. Folks so quick to jump on someone else's bandwagon and don't know the history of what you're screaming and hollering about. Mm-hmm. Carol Thomas, so Jesus driving drunk. Listen, the thing is, they never asked Jesus. I told them to ask Jesus, but they never asked Jesus. So that just lets you know that they targeted me. I told them to act, go with God. Go with God. All right, anyway. The the DJ Skills asked a good question. What what holiday do y'all think that we're most split on? You know, because we have Muslims, we have Hebrew Israelites, we got Sunni Muslims, we got FOI Muslims, we got five percent Nation of Islam um, Muslims, and you know what? We have other. We have the original Nation of Islam that that follows strictly Elijah Muhammad, and then you have the new Nation of Islam with Farrakhan. It's not the same thing. Not the same ideology. And the original nation of Islam, and I've been to their mosque before. They used to have a little map, a little mosque over, over there, like 28th, 28th and Marshall Street. Wait a minute. No, it couldn't have been 28th and Marshall. It had to be because Marshall goes congruent to. So let's say it would it had to be no. Marshall Street. Yeah, it was like 28th. 28th, 20th, 29th Street. They had a little, it was like a little house. It was really a house that they had made a mosque out of. And they were like, you know, this is not Farrakhan. We don't, we don't acknowledge Farrakhan as being honorable and blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh. It was like, no, we use the original Elijah Muhammad doctrine, their Bible, you know, I mean, the, the Quran that he developed. He said, we added on to that. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. So we have so many different religions. And then we have those who don't, who, who don't believe in God and those who are agnostic and those who are atheists and those who um, are what they would call spiritual like they acknowledge that there's a higher power but they don't claim to know who he is what he is or how he is but they just feel the power feel the power feel the power feel the power 
Um, I believe that Stephanie Mills had the best version of uh, you know that song I was just singing. I mean, you know, Teddy Pendergrass was good at it. And people, Bryson was good at it. But I just felt like Stephanie Mills did it the best. So she should be, she should be celebrated. Okay. Barbara Hill Cissé says, <laughs> Carol says, I'm about to, <laughs> Taki, I'm going to have to leave because he about to get us all fried. Not if you're not a Christian. You will not fry DJ Skill says probably won't catch catch me down Fat Tuesday neither for whatever that celebration is. Yeah, there's the whole Mardi Gras type thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. From what I understand, I've never heard anything bad about uh, Mardi Gras except for it's a good time. That's all I heard. But I'm sure it's something that that niggas ain't got no business participating in. Okay. Um, Barbara Hill CC says Fourth of July and Thanksgiving are a toss up. On the not celebrating anymore by many. Mm -hmm. Honorable mention is people arguing over when to honor veterans who are alive. Memorials Day, Vets Day, Servicemen Day. Interesting. Stacey White says, "Oh my, I had I had fun in the health food store. All the herb teas I got. That's what's up. I mean, love to see. Speaking of that, listen, we're gonna have a guest. We're gonna have a guest this Saturday." On on the Urban Therapy with Sun Show, we're going to talk about um, black why black people choose conventional medicine over over uh, holistic or natural naturopathic uh, remedies and 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 uh, herbs and stuff like that. So my peoples, my people's going to come through. So we're going to have a good show on Saturday. I'm going to promote it. I'll, I'll have more on that. I have more on that for, for y'all in a minute. But my girl, uh, y'all got to excuse me because, you know, like, it is, it is what it is. My girl, Rosalind Harris, is going to be coming through. She's a naturopathic practitioner, so we're going to have a good conversation on Saturday about, um, you know, holistic, holi hol holistic medicine and practices and herbs and stuff like that versus conventional um, medicine and science and stuff like that. And what it means to us, why our people uh, would choose to choose medicine and, re and remedies that keep us, keep us hooked on, on the pills and stuff for life instead of things that are actually cured and, and treat the problem for good. So make sure y'all come through on Saturday. It should be a good one. Should be a goodie. All right. DJ Skill says, Barb, those as well. Many of us will use those days off and celebrate, but not so much celebrate the way those holidays are designed to be. We remix them. I agree with that. Um, Barb Hill CC says, Sunni Shiite are originals. That's separated by um, separated by difference between followers of Muhammad and his disciple. Mm -hmm. Jews only differ with with them on following Abraham versus Muhammad. In in summary, you said Mohammed. Hmm. Mohammed. Okay. DJ Skill says, Barb, LOL, ain't Catholic either. Even though I went to their schools. The majority of my life ain't that some shit. Emily Dunlap in the house I said it. Emily, you know what? You gonna stop this mess? You gonna stop? All right, TK right says Mardi Gras is lit when done correctly. I hear that. I've never heard anything except for that. Never, ever, 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 ever. All right, y'all. We about to do these birthday shout outs. We got to get on the body here. We can't do this shit forever. We already at 8-12. Man, I should end it without doing the birthday shout outs. We have some birthday shout outs to do. Some people were born on this glorious, glorious, glorious. 
May 5th and they deserve I'm June 5th and they deserve to be acknowledged. So let's go about our business of acknowledging them and making them feel special because they are special because they are special because they are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They are S P E C I A L. They get the R E S P E C T. They get number one out the box. Donald Pool Shark Fuller turning. Oh, I don't know how old he is, but you know, happy birthday to you. And Jamila Muhammad, happy birthday to you. And my girl going all the way back to like the second grade, Ronnie Green, Veronica, Veronica, oh, Veronica girl, and Kathy Dance, happy birthday to you. And my man Dwayne Square turning 63 years old today. And Erica Perez turning 25 years old today. I don't think that she's really young. I know that's a lot. Okay, and Ebony Graham, happy birthday to you. And Victoria Brock, turning 52 years old today. And Gloria A. Fallon, turning 39 years old today. And Garrison Garrison, turning 67 years old today. And Darlene Townsend Henderson, happy birthday to you. And Dallas Thomas, turning 30 years old today. And Thelma Williams, turning 63 years old today. And Christina Foster, my girl Christina, turning 41 years old today. And Christopher, Christopher, turning 56 years old today. And last but not least, Rhonda Walker, turning 50, 47 years old today. I want to say happy birthday to all of y'all. And I hope that today finds you all a good health, happiness, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And that goes out to each and every one of y'all. Worldwide, internationally, and universally. All of y'all go ahead and turn up. Turn up. But don't turn up too loud. Just turn up loud enough so everybody can hear you. Rock out. Rock on and do the damn, the damn, the rock out. Rock on and do the, do the damn, rock out. Rock on and do the damn thing. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. You do your thing, y'all. Represent the queens and kings. Good things happen to those who wait. Great things happen to those who grind. And any, any, to any, to uh, anything can happen to those who go for theirs. So go hard, go for yours. And remember, man, listen, you're going to celebrate what you want to celebrate. I mean, people, can, you can't stop the rock. You know, it's a shame that we have to get in, in the middle or interfere with people people's ability to be happy. Unfortunately, historically and um, and socially, our people in particular, come across a whole lot of problems with the things that we celebrate. Because many times we have been tricked into celebrating our own demise. And as crazy as that sounds, it's the, it's the real. That thing is real. We have been actually tricked into celebrating the things that demonize us, incarcerate us, oppress us, keep us down, take away our liberty. No libertad, no libertad, no libertad. But look, celebrate your graduation. Celebrate. I, there are a whole lot of things I didn't have time to get into tonight. <laughs> Retirement parties. Um, 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 people who spend a lot of money on birthdays. You know, we talk about we adults, and here you are spending thousands of dollars on your birthday, like it don't come every year. You know what I mean? Um, what else? What else? What else? Um oh i remember years ago you know I, when i got a new job when i've gotten new jobs people was like oh we should go out and celebrate you get a new job i'm like i got the job to get the money i'm not spending money before i even get the check to me it sounded ridiculous but to the person that was they were like well i'm gonna be i'm gonna be the one that pay for everything you know we gonna celebrate you got a new i'm like i don't celebrate getting no new job i don't celebrate you know, my new, uh, I don't want to say enslavement because that's disrespectful to our ancestors because they didn't get paid, but it is what it is. But, um, you know, we can't, we, we didn't get a chance to cover everything, but I think that everything that we covered was good. I appreciate y'all coming through and I enjoyed broadcasting it to y'all and I hope y'all enjoy broad, um, um, the broadcast that I, I brought to y'all. We will be back tomorrow night for another daily go get a show, seven o'clock PM Eastern standard time. Make sure y'all come through, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure that y'all share the show. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, peace to all my day ones, my every days and my brand news. I love y'all to death resuscitate y'all love y'all right back to life so blog talk we gonna get you out of here yeah 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 and for my youtubers you know just how we do but thanks for coming on through see you on the other side my boobas uh yeah on the other side my boobas uh 
yeah, on the other side, holla.